Hello everyone. Um, in today's episode of um, What's This? We're going to be talking about smoothing brooches. Um, so yeah, what exactly are smoothing brooches and what are the use cases for it? So, smoothing brooches are basically like cutting brooches. However, they don't cut. Um, so, why why would you use them then? Well, this, basically, if you are using this, you are enlarging the hole. But sometimes you don't want that, but you still want to um, polish up the inside of the hole. So that's why you would use one of these. And it's uh, mainly something you would use on all the clocks. Um, so the thing that happens with modern clocks is the brass they use is not super high quality, definitely not like it used to be. And um, if you have an axle running, well, the hole runs out and you get the hole gets larger or oval. However, on all the clocks, like French mental clocks, um, you don't really see that much wear, at least not visually. Um, but the problem is that sometimes the surface, the inner surface of the hole, is not a hundred percent like smooth, and that's why you would use a smoothing brush. So. The way you do that is basically you go in there, you put, let me first see if this is the right one. Yes, so this is the right one. So you do like a drop of oil on there. And then you go inside. And then you put some force on there. And you can see I'm kind of slipping. Um, it's also important to be more or less straight, although it is um, less important than um, with um, with a cutting brush. So I'm going through, and I'm like, I'm not really, I'm enlarging the hole a slight bit, but it shouldn't be that big of a problem. Um, for the axle, the axle still would be fine in there. So yeah, what I'm basically doing now is I'm basically, if there's like any um, like blemishes on the surface, then I'm basically making those smooth. Um, also, um, in case there's like uh, a bit of like uh, a brim on there, I'm also removing that. And as you can see, despite this clock was cleaned, there's still some kind of deposit on here, um, which, yeah, that's also one of the reasons some clockmakers do spec wood to clean um, those holes. Um, but yeah, so basically I'm just polishing the inside of the hole, um, metal on metal. Um, but like I said, this is mainly something for like all the clocks. Um, with newer clocks, the brass being um, of a lesser quality, you will probably n not need this, you will need one of those, uh, or like another one to take as well. This one is a really large one, but I just did, took this one to demonstrate. Um, so yeah, um, and then you would place um, a new bushing, a new um, brass bushing. So yeah, this is just for like the minor, um, yeah, minor blemishes on the inside of the hole. Um, so yeah, and like if if you are going to do this to an older clock, it is recommended to do um, each hole um, because, well, like I said, it's not really visible. Maybe on a microscope it is visible, but uh, yeah, it might be um, really hard to show that. Um, so they come in sets, um, or you can buy them individually. So as you can see. This is one of those sets. Just some like 
really small for like uh, an entry wheel or an entry to like not a big although uh, this set won't cover the really big clocks but yeah um yeah, almost um things like the main thing i i'm using this on is like on the french mental clocks um because well they the only kind of all the clocks that have that really hard brass i see on a regular basis um there's a lot of other clocks that have it as well but they're not very common in repairs so yeah french mental clocks are I, I'm pretty sure French mental clocks are the hardest brass I come across in repairs. Um, but yeah, still, this, 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 um, if you have like an older clock that isn't running super great at amplitude, you're like, well, I don't really know um, what the problem is, then um, this really might resolve that issue. Um, because, well, it's not. Despite it's not really visible where, um, there still is something that can, certain blemishes, certain grooves that are on that, that can um, cause, well, it can cause uh, loss of power and, well, in eventually then make the amplitude less. And, but to be honest, from French Metro Clocks, um, which broke escapement. Are already lacking of amplitude, so this is this is something that really can help with that. Um, like I said, you can buy them in sets. There's yeah, just different sizes. Um, but you can also buy them apart separately. But yeah, well, buying them as a set is better. Um, the thing with smoothing brushes is that like as um, cutting brushes, mostly um, having a separate handle is preferred. Um, you're not really putting that much force on smoothing brushes, so it's perfectly fine to buy them with a plastic handle and uh, save a bit of money. But yeah, anyways, um, that was the video about um, smoothing brushes. Um, and uh, well, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.